the military invasion of Ukraine organized by Putin has brought war back to Europe. But the war in Ukraine isn't just about an attack against a sovereign state. It's a head-on attack against uh, self-determination, democracy, and our values. Uh, if we want these values to be safeguarded in the future and elsewhere, then we have to deal with the new era that uh, is commencing. We have to make sure that we have a set of economic sanctions and that we help the refugees that have come to the EU. This isn't something that could have been taken for granted because Putin thought there would be internal divisions, but he was wrong. The EU has rallied together in the face of difficulties. But this isn't enough. The war is illustrating the fact that we have to fast track our strategic autonomy, reduce energy dependence, and uh, bolster our common defense. We have to speak with a single voice uh, on the international stage. And the Versailles summit has highlighted and reiterated the EU support to Ukraine, but it has also highlighted the most pressing challenges. Now the European Council has to deliver action. We have to respond to the energy crisis. We have to invest in renewable energy sources. We have to deal with the gas crisis so that we can reduce our dependence on Russian gas as soon as possible. There also has to be a Europe European uh, natural gas uh, price cap. Uh, we have to make sure that businesses and households uh, don't collapse. It is only by strengthening our strategic autonomy that we'll be able to make sure that uh, uh, law prevails. Thank you. Grazie, onorevole Bonafè. La...